y'all miss me i miss y'all <laughs> we're vlogging again we are vlogging again it is time like we really just need to catch up right like 2021 has just flown it's just flown by and i just feel like i've been on a little break a very much needed break and i at least wanted to like check in and just kind of talk about you know some things on the horizon what's been going on with me so let's do it i felt the need you know uh with being so busy with working and everything that's been going on that i just needed a self-care self-reflective i don't know healing type of weekend like retreat type of thing so i was like well let me book like a hotel then i was all indecisive y'all i was like i don't want to travel too far because i want to be able to get off work on friday evening drive not that long not be in nobody's traffic and just like go somewhere where it's like you know kind of quiet stuff nearby whatever I ended up finding myself in Fredericksburg. I thought I was gonna be in like Williamsburg or maybe Charlottesville or something. I think I'll just save that for a weekend with like one of my friends. But I'm here in Fredericksburg. What is in Fredericksburg? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know a lot about Fredericksburg. I just know that Spotsylvania Mall is somewhere around the bend, somewhere around the corner. So I was like, well, that's the least I could do. So I guess you probably have already seen me in this vlog go to get a 90 minute hot stone massage shout out to the girl emily thank you for my massage i haven't had a massage in so long like a professional one in months and i have a whole membership and haven't been using it so that was very much needed to kind of start my saturday off and then after that i was tired and it started storming and raining here so i was just like Let's just grab some Wawa and go into the hotel room and watch Working Moms and maybe take a nap. And that's what I did because I was not about to be out in this rain. Well, now it's pretty late because I took a nap. I, it's probably midnight-ish right about now. Um, I finally had the motivation to pull out my camera and really do some real filming. I was just not feeling it earlier. But yeah, so I guess my plan or intent for this weekend is just to kind of make some time for really journaling really kind of sitting with my thoughts um reading a few chapters out of my book that i'll like end up showing y'all or whatever but just kind of a moment to pause kind of a moment to separate myself and just be with my thoughts if i haven't said that already so that's what I think I, I'm about to do um because it's so hard when I'm at home because I'm like thinking about my task list like I even brought like my other notebooks and planners and stuff and I'm just like no you're supposed to be really just kind of taking a break taking space like that's why you're not at home because if I'm at home I'm doing a million different things on my task list getting overwhelmed blah 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 so I'm here um, I wish the weekend was longer, like maybe if I was able to get here really, really early on Friday, just so it can feel like a longer weekend. But I think tomorrow I'm probably going to go to brunch and then like maybe hit the mall. I might try to be all like fancy in the morning. Maybe I'll do some more deep reflection or meditation or listen to a podcast or something. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the plan for tonight. Um, I skipped dinner. I wasn't even that hungry. That wall of food kind of filled me up, so I just wasn't even hungry for dinner. But um, but yeah, just have some things I need to get off my brain. Um, some you know, sitting down with also thinking about, dang, we really don't got that much left, like that much, like that many days left in this year. So thinking about what things are gonna look like. You know what kind of plans can i kind of make for myself or goals um because time is just kind of like flying but yeah i feel like it's important you know that we kind of like take time to pour back into ourselves or refill our cups back up i guess that's what the purpose of me doing all of this is i 
it's just never enough time right like it's just never enough time because i feel like in your day-to-day -day life there's so many things that are just kind of like pulling on you in in all different types of directions but for me i guess a lot has happened in 2021 <laughs> because 2020 was it wasn't enough it enough didn't happen i guess in 2020 like you know uh, but good things um and some not so great things but uh yeah so i'm just here to love on myself and all that good jazz i highly encourage anybody else that just needs a moment a break some time even if it means like you know you get away and you just stayed in a hotel and ordered in the whole time something um because yeah sometimes we just really 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 need that so i guess that's all the detail i really want to give i will say i am kind of like where i've slowed down on the wig reviews you know we seem natural i'm finally wearing my natural hair i'm so excited but i also have been coming up with like some new ideas like okay taking y'all along whatever journeys that i'm on like if it's this whole self-love healing journey if it's this whole like embracing my natural hair growing my natural hair bag journey um dealing with like hair loss whatever it is but also like still i want to do like some of the wig reviews and stuff but i want to like diversify my content a bit and kind of see what people are gravitating towards what are some things that people like because i also just kind of feel like from youtube to instagram it feel like it's almost like two different audiences that i have but i feel like i have more connection with people on instagram than i didn't than i do on like youtube but i want to have like both or kind of have you all be like a whole com one community <laughs> but yes yeah, so i'm just trying to find like connecting with my people on youtube you know finding my more of my audience on youtube as well as instagram but to keep up with the trend because it's been so long since i've done a giveaway or anything like that um since i did the last wig so it went really well i want to bring back the headband wigs like the staples like your favorite wigs that i've like reviewed and i this time i want them to be like brand new fresh out the box like good quality like only like from the best so right now i'm like going through the process of what it's like to like work with vendors or work with vendors from some of like my favorite hair companies and stuff like that um just so that you're purchasing like good quality like i'm not giving you anything that i'm like ah, oh, i didn't really like this one but i'm gonna give it to you kind of thing like no i want it to be of good quality some of the best ones that y'all loved and i loved so that's gonna be happening for black friday i've already like placed some orders with some vendors and i'm like um waiting to kind of just like test out the hair it's just kind of like a sampling process and we're gonna see where that takes me could be something on the horizon we just gotta stay tuned to just kind of like see where where all of that is gonna go um but i feel like it's just something fun i love doing like the wig sale i did i don't know if it's been like two months now i sold four out of the five wigs one of the wigs is still available if you're interested it's like the purple headband wig but the one thing i will say about that wig i absolutely like it's fall like you could definitely wear like people love wearing purple or highlights with purple on their hair in the fall but like the quality of that wig like i almost wish it was like a whole wig because that that quality of that wig was really nice the packaging everything that came with it that was like one of the best headband wigs i received i just know that it's like not a popular color that people are gonna wear every day so like people might be hesitant to like purchase it but it's fall now and it's good to pop out with you know some color whatever the case may be you know i feel like it's you know if it's, it's still available go ahead you know the links below you can go ahead and purchase it if you like but yeah i want to re-up on some of like the favorites because i had people who wanted some of the wigs that are on my site but only have one of them like so once it was gone it was gone so i definitely want to re-up restock bring back our favorites because people are still wearing bed wigs but i also want to start maybe trying out some other things like other cool convenient easy on the go styles like clip-ins like believe it or not 
I got some clippings on my hair, y'all, right now. I, I'm just saying. So from clippings to you part wigs, they're also doing something new. It's like, I don't know if it's called I part wig or something, but it's where you don't have to have any leave out and it looks really natural and all this and all that. So like going back to some of those like creative hacks, fun styles, like quick and easy, inexpensive, in addition to like, becoming like a wig wearer because some of y'all is you know have never worn wigs don't know how to like customize them some of you are like beginners some of you are like no nah, i've tested it out but i want to like feel confident enough like to where it's gonna look really really good like i came out the salon and i'm still practicing my skills and also learning new techniques from other people um that are gonna help me to make it even look even better especially like those lace front units like some units already come great out of the package but i want to like get my skills up to the point where i could transform a wig like it don't matter how it look like i'm just gonna make it look perfect natural realistic all that good stuff so we're still growing we're still learning all that good stuff over here but um that's like one of the biggest updates so please stay tuned for that i'm probably going to try to make more videos just kind of like doing some announcements around that so that people on youtube you all can um be on the lookout because before we know it black friday gonna be here so make sure you are maybe like subscribe to my email list by going to my website um because that's where everything's gonna be it's gonna be a one-stop shop so you don't have to go anywhere far but i might post some videos of what it's like to like sample these products so you can see like behind the scenes like before i actually choose the ones i want to like go with so that's some of like the biggest news um outside of that yeah we're just on some journeys guys um and that's that on that so i'm gonna do some journaling and then i'm gonna go to sleep because we need our sleep um yeah and i guess i'll you know do some more vlogging tomorrow but that's it for tonight well i went to the mall i couldn't really find anything clothing wise i don't know what it is like the mall is just not doing it for me anymore so i guess i have to stick to online shopping <sighs> but i did get some goodies at sephora so it's a win-win got some new makeup and i can't wait to play in it but i'm gonna go ahead and head home it's like about 4 30 so yeah I guess that concludes this vlog. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.